Welcome to UTC AI Studio, AI-powered, creativity-fueled. Today we're tackling a massive question, one that's been on a lot of people's minds. Can artificial intelligence really predict the stock market? I mean, for forever, the market has basically been this huge arena of human emotions. We're going to break down how AI is pretty much changing the entire game when it comes to financial forecasting. The way our brains are wired can be a huge liability when you're trying to trade. I mean, just think about it. You've got emotional bias, right? That little voice in your head screaming sell during a dip or that FOMO that makes you buy right at the peak. Then there's just so much information. It's literally impossible for one person to process it all. Our reaction? Let's face it, pretty slow in market terms. And of course, we make plain old human errors. And that's exactly why market prediction has always been so difficult. At the very heart of investing, there's always been this one fundamental question. For centuries, trying to predict the stock market has felt like trying to predict the weather a year out. It's a mixture of science, a little bit of art, and let's be honest, a whole lot of guesswork. But what if that's starting to change? There's this old saying that the market runs on two things, fear and greed. Let's start with the basics. Why is this so incredibly hard in the first place? Well, it's because the market isn't just about numbers on a screen. It's a chaotic system, really. It's influenced by everything around it. We're talking about global politics, big economic reports, and yeah, even a single viral tweet can send things spinning. And this quote really gets to the heart of the whole problem. You see, the traditional ways of doing things, they lean heavily on historical data, and you know a person's gut feeling. But in a market that moves in milliseconds, that's like trying to drive down a super busy freeway looking only in your rear view mirror. It's just way too slow. This is where a new player enters the scene, artificial intelligence. The whole idea here is to shift away from the limits of human judgment and step into a world that's all about data-driven insights. And you can really see the fundamental shift right here. The old way is kind of like being a historian, you know, carefully studying past events to guess the future. But AI, that's more like having a real-time global intelligence network. It's digesting billions of data points as they happen, we're talking about everything from stock prices to news headlines, all to find those hidden patterns and adapt on the fly. But how does this algorithmic crystal ball actually work? First up, we have something called Natural Language Processing, or NLP for short. The easiest way to think about it is this. It's like teaching a computer how to read, but instead of reading just one book, imagine it reading every single news article, every financial report, and every tweet about a company all at once in real time. It's pulling out the important stuff from all that noise. It comes down to two things. Insane processing power and pattern recognition on a scale we've just never seen before. Once it reads everything, what's next? That's where sentiment analysis comes in. It doesn't just read the words, it understands the feeling behind them. It's gauging the overall mood. Are people excited about a stock? Are they scared? Is the chatter positive, negative, or mixed? What does this actually look like in practice? Well, just try to imagine an analyst that literally never sleeps, an analyst that can read every single financial report, news article, and social media post about a company all at once, 24 by 7. I mean, that's the kind of power we're talking about here. Here's what that actually looks like. First, you've got multi-source data analysis. This means it's looking way beyond just stock prices to, well, everything connected to them. Then there's real-time monitoring, which is huge because it means its predictions are always based on the absolute latest info. And finally, its advanced pattern recognition can spot those tiny, subtle signals that even a human expert might miss. And that gives it a massive edge when it comes to assessing risk. And this is where AI really pulls ahead of traditional analysis. And all of that brings us to a really crucial concept called alternative data. This is where AI systems just go to work sifting through these massive, enormous piles of data. And I mean everything, not just stock prices, but things you wouldn't even think of like satellite images of retail parking lots to see how busy they are. Honestly, this is a total game changer. We're talking about AI that can analyze the sentiment of news articles like is the tone positive or negative. It can track social media trends and even factors in major geopolitical events. It's about building a complete picture of the market's overall mood. When you step back and look at all of this, the technology itself is obviously impressive. But the real question is, what does this actually mean for you as an investor? Why should you care? When you strip it down, the real edge comes from how AI changes the way decisions are made. 
Instead of relying on gut feelings or instinct, those decisions are driven entirely by data. Patterns pulled from massive amounts of information analyzed consistently without emotion. And when your strategy is grounded in that kind of data, it doesn't just improve accuracy, it builds confidence in the choices you're making. Another major shift is the way AI reduces human bias like fear, greed, hesitation, panic selling, or chasing trends at the wrong time. All that plays a role in human decision making. AI doesn't experience any of it. It follows the logic it's been given, applies it consistently, and sticks to the plan even when markets get volatile. That consistency becomes especially clear in risk management. Because these systems are monitoring the market in real time around the clock, they can identify potential risks far earlier than a person ever could. Instead of reacting after a downturn has already happened, investors have a chance to spot warning signs early and adjust before losses spiral. And then there's personalization. Rather than a one-size-fits-all approach, AI can factor in individual financial goals, time horizons, and risk tolerance. The result is strategies that are tailored to the investor, not the average. So that's the upside. But how does this actually show up in the real world? In practice, a typical AI-driven setup works something like this. The system scans thousands of stocks in seconds, filtering them based on whatever criteria you define. From there, it analyzes price, data, charts, sentiment, and patterns to identify potential opportunities. And in more advanced setups, trades can even be executed automatically based on predefined rules, without constant human input. And this isn't about one single tool doing everything. What's really emerging is an entire ecosystem of AI-powered platforms, each focused on a specific part of the process. For example, tools like Trade Ideas are commonly used for real-time market scanning and idea generation. Platforms such as Tickeron specialize in pattern recognition and predictive analytics. Kavoot applies machine learning models to evaluate stocks and assign data-driven scores. And Metastock is widely used for advanced technical analysis, strategy testing, and signal generation. These are just examples, but they illustrate an important point. AI in the market isn't theoretical anymore. These tools already exist and they're already being used in different ways by traders, analysts, and institutions. And while adopting AI doesn't guarantee success, completely ignoring it is becoming harder to justify in a market that moves this fast. When you put all that together, what does it lead to? Well, it leads to more confident decision-making, right? When your whole strategy is backed by this mountain of data, it helps strip away all the emotion, you know, the fear and the greed that can so easily cloud a person's judgment. And finally, let's not forget about pure operational efficiency. By automating all that grunt work, all the tedious data analysis, it frees up the human experts to do what they do. Think about the big picture, craft the overall strategy and ultimately make that final call. But this power comes with responsibility. Now, it's really important to say this doesn't mean we're just handing the keys over to the machines and walking away. Not at all. And that brings us to our final and maybe most crucial point. How does human expertise fit into this new world? Because, you see, implementing AI isn't some kind of set it and forget it process. It needs really high quality data to work with. The models must be updated constantly and you must monitor their real world performance. But the most important step of all is right here. You must integrate AI with human expertise. That's the absolute key. AI is an incredibly powerful tool, but it is not a replacement for the expert. And this black box thing is a really, really big deal. Imagine an AI losses your company a billion dollars on a single trade. It's as you told me to do it thing. Do you see the problem? Can we really trust something you don't understand when your boss asks you what happened? Its only answer is, I don't know. This is why blind automation is dangerous in financial markets. And this brings us to the real takeaway. The best results are that they don't come from the machine alone. They come from a partnership. The AI provides these deep data-driven insights that a human could never find. But it's the seasoned human expert who provides the context, the judgment, and makes that final strategic call. So we kind of end up right back where we started, but now with a totally new perspective. The real question isn't humans versus machines anymore, it's about how they're going to learn to predict the market together. So I'll leave you with this to think about. What do you think that collaboration is going to look like in say 10 years from now? That's the question that's going to define the next frontier of finance. Thanks for watching UTC AI Studio, AI powered, creativity fueled. I'll see you in the next video where we explore more AI integrations in our daily lives 
Till then, as always, keep learning, keep building, and keep creating with AI.